My name is Enrique Ross, and this is my Win Win documentary. Enjoy. Shortcuts. Do documentary. Wynwood, a neighborhood in Miami, Florida that is known for its exotic arts and beautiful graffiti. Most of the attention Wynwood gets is from its development into a center for art and interesting restaurants, bars, and breweries. While Wynwood nears its 100th year, it is time to share its story of beautiful murals, diverse demographics, and modern day gentrification. In order to understand the character behind this beautiful district, we have to look back and see what problems it and its people faced in order to create the Wynwood we know today. Wynwood sits upon what was subdivided farmland and was eventually sold by two Miamians by the name of Josiah Chao and Hugh Anderson. With the help of real estate agent E.A. Waddell, they were able to sell lots as early as 1896, over 20 years before the official establishment of the neighborhood. From the moment Wynwood was created, it was synonymous with working class families. Along with a boom of residents in the district came a boom of factories and work opportunities. Companies like Coca-Cola and the American Bakeries Company set up shop within the district giving the working class families work to do. It was in the 1920s when fashion began to seep into the culture of Wynwood. This culture grew exponentially when Cuban immigrants began to provide labor for the garment and fashion industry. Immigrants from all over the world began to settle in Wynwood in the hopes of improving their economic status to then leave the neighborhood. Haitians, Dominicans, Colombians, and more found homes in the district. However, some of these migrants struggled to build their status, while others used the city as a drug trafficking scene. Dottie Quintana, the unofficial mayor of Wynwood from the 1950s to the 1980s, spent her life helping the sick, elderly, and poor, and tracking down drug dealers single-handedly. Dottie not only improved the community itself, but set the tone for what the community would strive to be. By the 1980s, companies began to leave the neighborhood. The warehouses these companies operated out of would be left without a tenant and abandoned for years. That was the case until 1985, when a splinter group from the South Florida Art Center discovered and bought one of these buildings. The warehouse was turned into Florida's largest working artist space. The building still stands to this day under its original name, The Big House. Jump ahead to 2006 to when Goldman Properties, led by Tony Goldman himself, began to buy up properties in Wynwood. Tony Goldman was a driving force behind the revival of cities like Soho and South Beach. He began to think of ways to incorporate art into Wynwood, and what he came up with was the Wynwood Walls, an open air gallery of murals. Goldman dreamed of murals painted across all buildings in Wynwood and it is safe to say that his dream has become a reality. The art began to attract the attention of hundreds and then thousands of people to Wynwood, artists and tourists alike. Goldman's vision of a colorfully painted town has become such a uniquely wonderful place, and you can only find that in Wynwood. I think street art is definitely the, uh, the main factor here. It's uh, not only allowed but encouraged, and we have a lot of this I think in most big cities, but the fact that there's a whole district for it and it's organized and it's put here for people to enjoy an art that's been sort of talked down on for a long time, I think that's really something new and something that you don't see a lot. There's no apology, there's no explanation. It's here and it's meant to be enjoyed, whether it's a statement or not. Well, um, it's such a unique place. It's considered the largest outdoor art museum in the world and um, it's, it's always changing because the art is very temporary. Um, somebody might do a, a mural for, it might last just like a month or two, and then something completely different will be on that wall. So when people come back after, let's say, a year, it's gonna look completely different, mostly. Well, if it wasn't for the street art on the walls, uh, I don't think Wynwood would really exist. The Wynwood neighborhood has attracted a number of very interesting restaurants, bars, breweries, art galleries, and an assortment of other name brand retailers. It is a neighborhood that is rooted in humble beginnings that evolved into a melting pot community. Many people living in Miami believe that the Wynwood neighborhood has already surpassed many other surrounding neighborhoods in terms of character and charm. If you haven't attended an art walk or visited any of the great establishments in Wynwood, there's never been a better time than now.